other. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hannah prayed and Eli was sent by God to give her a word. You have been praying since Shiloh started. God's servant will be used tonight to give you and I another word. Shall we receive together our father, God's servant, the apostle over this commission, Bishop David Oedipo, as God uses him to bless us. we together lift up our two hands to heaven and if any good thing has happened to you since Shiloh began specifically thank God for it that's the only way to the next one specifically thank God for it if you have received any touch in any of the sessions specifically give God thanks for it Light came through. New chapters opened your spiritual life. New light in one area or another. Give God thanks. We are never qualified for the next until we thank God for the last. Give Him thanks. Give Him thanks. Give Him thanks. Give Him thanks. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. Amen. Jesus, I won't thank you for what you have done thus far. We await the next. Amen. Let no one miss the next light that you'll be sending. Amen. Thank you for the loaded day in the hour of visitation and this night of encounter let no one miss his or our own encounter yeah. and thank you father i think i'm prompted by the spirit we need to pray for this nation now watch it's not experience that makes it's not experience that makes a prophet. It's a call. I warned this nation 2015 that we are heading for crisis and trauma. Many were washing their mouth. Some of them are off today. God does not require consensus to raise a prophet. I saw a nation going down the drain. I cried. There are many prophets of politicians whose people they want to hear. A Mopi Tanori and Gekonianova. Watch. I have been very silent. What we need now is not a leader, it's a deliverer. Yeah. And I'm telling you the truth. Almost nothing remains except the church that can be called a nation. Now, listen to me. I'm saying this, you can see it yourself. <laughs> what event will any system run in Nigeria that will bring 50 nations together? No. The only... The only thing of value to the world today Economy battered. Security zero. I make a pretend 
Gata. So, a hundred million of you can't keep me silent. A hundred million of you can't keep me silent. Lord, send us a deliverer. You see, send us. Send us. A, I'm not a beneficiary of zero from government. I've been called into the prophetic book before they started doing their politics. Yes, sir. So it's not part of it. My part, there's nothing I've said about this land that has failed. Kakompiketo Embrankankata. Now, the destiny of Nigeria is hanging. Oh, it's hanging. It's hanging. The money distributors are busy distributing. Yes, they are never tired. Ameko Praketanora. Church all over the world. Diaspora, in Sapora, wherever you are. You love Nigeria. Lift up your voice. God, send us, send us a deliverer and give us rest again. Go ahead and pray, everybody. Send us a deliverer. And give us rest again in Nigeria. Send us a deliverer. And give us rest in Nigeria again. Send us a deliverer. And give us rest in Nigeria again. Send us a deliverer and give us rest in Nigeria again. Send us a deliverer and give us rest in Nigeria again. Send us a deliverer and give us rest in Nigeria again. precious name we have prayed. Amen. I couldn't watch a human being being set on fire. I, I couldn't watch it. But I told you 2015 you are beginning for trauma without knowing. We are long overdue for rest. This land is long overdue for us. He sent them a deliverer in Israel, and the land had rest for 80 years. I'm not a politician, I'll never be one. Carry a box for people to vote for me. Never. 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 I've left that realm, sir. No, long time. Never. Long time. But this land must have rest. Must. <laughs> must. Must. Nigeria must have rest. <laughs> you should be able to travel to Kano and be at peace. Yes, sir. Travel to my degree and be at rest. Yes, sir. Go on the road and be peaceful. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Many don't care what happens to nobody. Yes, sir. They don't care. They care for nothing. I had been quiet. I said I will not say a word until God puts in my mouth. And I was praying one day, said, What the land needs is a deliverer. The Lord told me, Life. Right now, we have a big time Congress going on, redemption come. With multitudes from outside the country. There are many, many conferences in Nigeria today. It is the church giving a, a, 
you know, a, a face of honor yes. to Nigeria. Yes. Yes. I know. I know. I know. I know. We are at peace. They are in crisis. We are at peace. But we want the well-being yes. of every mortal man yes. in this country. Mm. And as the Lord lives, as we pray, yes. the deliverer will march. The land will have rest. Your will have rest. Amen. You won't become a refugee in another man's country. Amen. There shall be no war in Nigeria. Amen. There shall be no bloodshed in Nigeria. Amen. Nigeria shall prosper again. Nigeria shall prosper again. The shame of this nation will be rolled away. The perpetrators will pay for it. Barati Karuse Kenabu. You can't kill other people's children and have your children alive. When our church was 20, this prophetic voice was there. It's not that you are talking because there's a crowd. When we were 50, my son, you understand what I'm saying? It's not size that makes a prophet. It's an election of grace. Thank you, Jesus. God will work his wonders in Nigeria. Amen. This revival will, will bring about a change in Nigeria. Amen. Every nation of Africa will have rest again. Amen. Give the Lord a big hand of praise and be seated, please. Wicked, it shall not be well. Every sponsor of unrest in Nigeria, it shall not be well with them. It takes spiritual madness to pray for robbers. They came to your house and said, God, just have mercy on them. No. You will react with every available resources around you. Thank you, Jesus. We welcome all of them, but God will have his choice. And God's choice will give us rest. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Unveiling the covenant highways of life. Can you control the sound at the other side, please? It's on really high. My ways are higher than your ways, said the Lord. Are my thoughts than your thoughts? As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For us, the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Verse 10. For as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth and make it bring, and board, bring forth on board, so shall my word be 
the highways of God are contained in his word. It does not show, it does not only show what God has to offer us as his children, but what to do to take delivery. This is a book of covenants. It's a what to do book. This is a what to do book. No, what God can do and what God will do does not make it happen. It is knowing what you and I must do for God to make it happen that we make it happen. I'm not comfortable with that sound, please. Please, please, please. Tonight I'll be touching on what everybody needs and what everybody has the right to. What is every believer's birthright? What everybody will always need So we'll be looking at the signs and wonders covenant. Signs and wonders covenant. The supernatural is ordained to be the natural estate of the believer. The believer is redeemed a supernatural being on the earth. Prophetically, from Isaiah chapter 8, verse 18, I and the children which the Lord has given me are for signs and wonders in Israel from the Lord of hosts. Jesus said to Nicodemus, Whatever is born of the flesh is flesh. Whatever is born of the spirit is spirit, not spiritual, spirit. And the wind blows where it listed. You hear the sound thereof, but you can't tell where it's coming from or where it's going. So is everyone that is born of the spirit. So every born again child of God is redeemed as a sign and a wonder to his world. We need to get this understanding if we must command the supernatural whose need will be on the increase as the world is running fast to the end. As the wicked come to do more wickedly, the saints must remain in command by knowing who they are in Christ and how to actualize who they are in Christ. We are not redeemed to struggle with what we struggle with. We are not redeemed to suffer what the world around us suffers. We are not redeemed to be at the mercy of the devil. Tonight, our for sure 
what redemption has made of each of us. Every born again child of God has the following redemptive offer that comes along with his salvation. And as you drink that in, it will be easier for you to pray with confidence when you get to discover the things that put a believer in command of the supernatural. Kenneth Egan told a story many years ago of a lion cub, a lion baby that was captured and began to grow among the sheep. He began to eat what the sheep eat. This lion baby didn't know the deal between herself and the sheep. Anytime they went seeking for water and they sighted a lion on the other side, everybody picks his race, including the lion sheep. He didn't know who he was. One day he was taking water on the stream and saw his picture on the face of the water. I look like that thing we run away from. The next time a lion showed up, he just crossed over and joined his original family. We have stayed too long with the natural man that we have lost our supernatural identity. Come away! Those who do know the covenants of their God they shall be strong and they shall do exploits. We are redeemed as lions. Yes. Jesus, our elder brother, he called us brethren. Is the lion of the tribe of Judah. There is no sheep that is a brother of a lion. As my father has sent me, so send I. The days of being cheated, being robbed, are over in your life. No bandit would dare a house with a lion at the gate. The days of assault on your life are finally over. Lion, a lion which is strongest among the beasts and turn it not away for any control, command. Yes. Amen. So be Kitty and Eshinga. We lost the sense of who we are because of where we have been in the nature. What has redemption made of me? Who am I today in Christ? One by redemption, I'm now a spirit being. Just a human being. Yes, I have a vehicle called the flesh. But my dead spirit came back to life when I met Jesus. That this flesh is here does not mean that did not occur. When Adam died, because he said, the day you eat of it, you will surely die. He still had a body. 
He still had a soul. But his spirit man was dead. No more connectivity with God. So by redemption, we are now sanctified, spirit, soul, and body. A new spirit impacted on the soul, and the soul impacts on the body. Don't let this flesh confuse you. New birth means a spirit being wearing a fleshly clothes. Those queer spirits that torment people, they know which spirit is spirit. They know. The magicians put down their rods. The rod of Aaron swallowed all their rods without increasing size. Vanity upon vanity. Vanity upon vanity. Vanity upon vanity. Let me hear you say, if you understand what I'm saying, I have been redeemed as a spirit being. That gave us this place. It's not a man that gave us, my friend. Nobody could tear this forest. People run on foot on the road in the night, I mean, in the evening, because we're hearing thoughts with human voice. God said, this is the place. I said, why not? We flush them out totally, completely, eternally, crashing day by day. All the noise is silenced. Whatever is from above is above. You are not a weakling, it's your mentality that's affecting you. The good news is every assault of the wicked on your life must end here tonight. In John chapter 15, verse 18 and 19, Jesus speaking said, If the world hates you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world will love his own. But because you are not of the world, <laughs> But I've chosen you out of the world. Therefore, the world hated you. We are only in this world. We are not of the world. We are a peculiar people on the earth. A different species of people. First, Peter chapter 2 and verse 9. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people that this should show forth the face of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. We are here as the salt of the earth. We give taste to living. The most impactful group of people on the earth are Christians. Willing to distribute, ready to communicate at all times to all people, including lepers. Because we are the salt of the earth. We are to stop the earth from decay. We are the light of the world to show the way to go. That's why we're here. We don't belong here. In citizenry. We are only in the world. We are not of the world. That's why things happen to us differently. Yes. 
There was famine in Egypt. People were offering their bodies to be sold. But there was so much abundance with God's people. That's the distinction and exemption of the covenant. Again, my prayer is that our mentality will come alive. That we are here as change agents. We are here to put smiles on the face of people. We are here as bearers of good news to the dying world. Can I have you say with me, I'm only in the world. I am not of the world. I'm a peculiar person. What torments them is not permitted to torment me. Number three, by redemption, we are now seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Ephesians 2, beginning from verse 5. When we were yet sinners, when we were dead in sin, Christ has quickened us together. God has quickened us together with Christ. By grace, he has saved. He's talking about salvation. And has raised us up together. And made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Verse 7. That in the ages to come, he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness towards us through Christ Jesus. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of your own, it is the gift of God. Salvation provides for us that divine privilege to be seated together with Christ in heavenly places. And that is located far above all principality and power and dominion. In every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. Far above, Ephesians 1.20. Far above. That should give any believer a superiority mentality above all the forces of wickedness. Far above. Far above. Far above. This is vital. You are not redeemed to be struggling with the issues of life. You are redeemed not to be under circumstances, but on top of circumstances. It's a brand new day for every one of us. Yeah. Hear what Jesus said. John 8 and verse 23. Jesus said unto them, Ye are from beneath. I am from above. Ye are of this world. I am not of this world. You see, this consciousness gave him command. So when he rose from the dead, he brought us there with him. Where we can command on the reason of what he has said. We can't do the word that he did, except you understand what you're doing. By redemption, you are no longer hanging around here struggling with circumstances. Your story has changed. Yeah. It's also important for us to know here, number four, that by redemption, we now carry the presence of God in the person of Jesus Christ within us. God's presence now indwells you and I. 
His name is Emmanuel, God with us. At new birth, we open the door of our heart and he enters in. So we carry God's presence. Which is the seal of signs and wonders. When Israel came out of Egypt, God's presence dominated them, was in their midst. The sea saw them, it fled. From now, troubles will see you and disappear. <laughs> What's going on? He said, tremble thou art at the presence of God. Everything that used to trouble you will begin to tremble at your instance. This <laughs> is Sodom. Challenges saw Jesus. Hey, 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 hey. I'm going to destroy us. And as the Father sent me, so send I you. My Father is with me. That's what they saw. Because I do always the things that please him. Have you come to torment us? Have you come to destroy us before the time? That, those were the exclamations because of the presence of God that he carried. This consciousness will make every form of trouble tremble at your instance. I carry God's presence within me. I can't forget him at home. Right on my inside. He said, Christ in you. The hope of glory in, in you. Yes, it's in me. In, in you. Yes. And in me, the hope of glory. Your authority over shame and reproach. Amen. In you. They mention your name anyhow for evil, thunder strikes. Yes. Can I tell you where my fearlessness comes from? the ever abiding consciousness of God's presence which I come to jealously guard God's ever abiding presence gives confidence gives confidence And confidence is the backbone of all conquerors. The same Christ in you is the same Christ in me. There is nothing to envy in anybody else. The same Christ in me is the same Christ in you. There is only one Christ. And if God be for you, who can be against you? Jesus, when they bowed, doing good, healing all them that were present because God was with them. God was with them. He sent the apostles, Lo, I'm with you always, even to the end of the age. People need to know this. It's a fundamental requirement for operating the supernatural. You need to know and be conscious of his presence. Number five, big time. When they saw Peter manifested the sonship, they said, the gods have come down to us in the likeness of man. <laughs> Someday we're going to do that. <laughs> the gods come down to us in the likeness of man. The son of a goat, the child of a goat is a goat. The child of a cow is a cow. The child of a sheep is a sheep. The child of a man is a man. So, who should a child of God be? Are you afraid? Because by the law of procreation, everything produces after its kind. He lives in you so as to live his life out of you as you allow him. In me, 
so as to allow him to live his life out through me as I allow him. Acts 14 verse 11. The people exclaim, the gods have come down to us in the likeness of men. They stone Paul to death. They gather to find out how they will bury him. He stood up. So let's go to the next meeting. He was lost in the sea one night. He came back, not to hospital. Came back on his assignment. In the precious name of Jesus, may this consciousness change your spiritual life forever. Yeah. How many are born again here? Let me see your hand. Now, the good news is, Christ now dwells in you. I did some teachings in the foundation days of this ministry. Ye are gods. People almost told me. Ye are gods. I didn't say so. Psalm 82, verse 5 to 7. They know not, neither would they be willing to understand. Religious has blocked their mentality. So they walk on in darkness. They lost control over all this of life. I have said, ye are God. And I mean all of you that are children of the most high God. How many of them? Oh. A number of us have two or three children. Is any of them more a human being than the other? You are firstborn, you are a human being. This one is three quarter human being. This one have this. Ye are God. All of you, all of you, all of you. So redemption came to validate that. Can you imagine that God was in fear? Of who? Come on now. Of who? That we sit down in the same town. We go to the same market. We go to the same school. Does not mean we are the same old. Do you think all human beings on the streets are human beings? Some are highly demonized. Totally. And in the same vein, some are highly divinized. <laughs> there is so much divinity in their personality. So much divinity in their personality. From today, no devil or his agents cares you anymore. No devil or his agents scares you anymore. Yeah. And to validate that statement, Jesus also referenced it in John 10, 35. Is it not written in your law, I have said, ye are gods? If he God called them gods unto whom the word of God came, are you saying I blaspheme because I'm a son of God? You are we have not seen anything yet. The real gods are coming. I, I came as a son of God, full of mercy and tender. The real gods are coming. And what makes God is the judge of all, among other things. Vengeance belongs to him. He reacts against unwanted situations. Your reaction against sickness tonight will mark the end of it. Amen. Your reaction against sickness tonight will mark the end of it. Your reaction against defeats tonight will mark the end of it. Please understand these basics. When the foundation is destroyed, the righteous can do nothing. It's not trying to make it happen. Amen. It's what you are created to command. In the precious name of Jesus, whatever requires a miracle tonight, you go back home with it. Yeah. Every miracle you desire tonight, you go back with it. Yeah. This is what makes us signs and wonders. They are the redemptive deposits in us.
Now we saw the Holy Ghost as the custodian of signs and wonders. In the last days shall come to pass apart my spirit upon all flesh. And I will show wonders in heaven. Wonders. Joel chapter 2, 28 and 29. I will show wonders in heaven. He's the custodian of signs and wonders. And you are baptized in the Holy Ghost. He now dwells in you. So you have the factory of signs and wonders inside you. No bread baker ever lacks bread. The baking factory for signs and wonders now lives in you. When the Holy Ghost came, after conversion, the next were miracles after miracles after miracles after miracles. And the church is built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets. Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. The apostles came out. Many signs and wonders were wrought by the hands of the apostles. And it kept on going. It kept on going. It kept on going. Peter's shadow was healing the sick. You can't carry the Holy Ghost and believe it with miracles. The one that triggers the supernatural lives in you. Therefore, from now, no unwanted situation hangs around your life anymore. Thank you, Jesus. The church must come awake to the spiritual endowments that redemption offer so we can make the most of our adventure on the earth. What are the covenant requirements for operating in the supernatural? That's what redemption has made of us. How do we now actualize this in our life? Number one, be born again and remain so. Be born again and remain so. When you walk away from your father's house, you suffer what the prodigals and suffers, stripped naked, miserable, tattered, broken, beaten, waiting to die. The wonders of the Father's house, no more in touch. Be born again and remain so. Well, God used to bless me before. Yes, you left home. You left your Father's house. And you are facing the music. Be born again and don't let any devil de deceive you. Once saved is not always saved. No. 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 Work out your own salvation with fear and trouble. Shall we continue in saying that grace may abound? God forbid. And salvation is a product of grace. So when sin settles, grace withdraws. And the children only whom God has given me they are for signs and for wonders Joshua the high priest and those that sit around you they are men wondered at Zechariah chapter 3 verse 8 when you leave that seat you are no longer a wonder you become a wanderer Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I pray for your grace to sustain my life in the kingdom. Ask him for grace right now. Ask him for grace right now. In Jesus' name, number two. He said to Moses, 
Exodus 4 and verse 17. Thou shalt take this rod in thy hand, wherewith thou shalt do signs. Rod, what about? There shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse. And a branch shall grow out of his roots. And the seven spirits of God shall rest upon him. And he lit, he lit them. We saw Jesus carrying the seven spirits of God in Revelation chapter 5 and verse 6. So Jesus is that rod in the figure. And Jesus is the living word of God. Shall, thou shalt take my word in your hand, wherewith thou shalt do signs. My word is what puts the believer in command of signs. You shall take this word in your hand, wherewith thou shalt do signs. Jesus is the rod of God. Jesus is the word of God. Thou shalt take my word in your hand, wherewith thou shalt do signs. He was working with them, confirming the word with signs following. It is the word confirmed that is us into miracles. There is no authentic miracle under heaven that's not a function of the word received and believed. When you receive and believe the word and prove that you believe by acting on it, believing, God, a miracle is born. It is the word plus faith from corresponding action that equals a miracle. Any miracle without the word at the root of it is magic. <laughs> magic. It will work today and never work again. Magic casino. My God. What God confirms into miracles is his word that we receive and believe. He empowers us to become. An echo broke to say, This is what? Every authentic miracle has its anchor in the world. Every authentic miracle has its anchor in the world. My wife and I have enjoyed over 40 years of history marriage from the world. From the world that I knew is so before we got married. Signs and wonders are products of what received, believed, and acted upon. Parado secloria le barad. What empty people can't operate in the supernatural? What dry people? can't operate in the supernatural. It's not emphasizing and for wonder. What must I do to manifest the supernatural in my life? Be born again and stay so. Lay hold on the world for the miracle you desire. Lay hold on the world for the miracle you desire. Somebody read my book, Keys to Divine Health, 1986, in one hospital here in Lagos. He was afflicted with hypertension and high blood pressure. The daughter was a doctor in that hospital. He said, no, discharge me. He said, discovered on page 20 that the devil is not a gentleman. I'm going home. That was the end of high blood pressure and hypertension. I saw him in 96, 10 years after. He showed me the entire wrote in response to his testimony. He said, I'm that man. I'm still here and hearty. It happened in Lagos. I saw him in Port Harcourt. Every word generated miracle endures. It's not we who are pastors who are signs and wonders. All of you, he said. Oh, and all the children which were given to me, they are for signs, not the apostles. The children, the children, the children, the children. The children. I got free from tuberculosis. Seven months. 
after my conversion without anybody ministering to me. All this pray for me, pray for me, say, don't won't put in command. Take responsibility. I consumed Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John the first three months I got saved as a voracious wolf or wolf. It's your turn. Yeah. You know something happens, sir. He said, We are by are given to us these precious and great promises that by this one become partakers of the divine nature. We partake of divine nature from the world that puts us naturally in command of the issues of concern in our life. Somebody's story is changing. Yeah. If that's you, let me hear your loudest amen. Yeah. Get ready for your miracle tonight. Yeah. Get ready for your miracle tonight. Yeah. The Bible says, it satisfies the desires of all living things. And you are one of these people. God will satisfy your desire tonight. Yeah. Number three, engage in prayer of faith for release. Pray. Prayer of faith. The prayer of faith shall save the sick and the Lord shall raise him up. Prayer of faith. Yea, I have found it in the world. I believed it. And God, I demand for his delivery in the name of Jesus Christ. And expect it to happen. Prayer comes in after lay hold on the wall. You go with faith to the prayer altar to demand its delivery. Let him ask him faith, or let no that man think he shall receive anything from God. James 1, 6 and 7. And whatsoever thing you shall ask, believe him, it shall be given to you. It's prayer of faith that works miracles, not just prayers. And all things, whatsoever you shall ask in prayer, Believing ye shall receive. Believing ye shall receive. Believing ye shall receive. Number four. Engage the name of Jesus Christ. So effect your command. See if our God have I known, but such as I have I given to you in the name of Jesus, who told us to go and heal the sick and raise the dead and cleanse the lepers. Rise up and walk. And the name did it. We said here in the morning, there are two forces in that name. The power of God, Christ, the anointed one, and the authority of God, he gave to him a name. You can't give yourself authority. Above all names, that at the name of Jesus, every nation shall bow. And interestingly, the gifts and the callings of God are without repentance. Romans eleven twenty nine. 29. That gift is still in force. So when we invoke the name of Jesus on the basis of his word, the authority of Christ goes into play. The Father judges no man is committed all judgment to the Son. The power of Christ goes into play. And the miracle is wrought. Acts chapter 3 and verse 16. Peter speaking said, and his name through faith in his name, has made this man strong, whom ye see and know. Yea, the faith which is by him, 
has given him this perfect soundness in the presence of you all. Faith in the name is crucial for commanding the supernatural. His name is called Wonderful, full of wonders. When that name goes forth, the wonders of heaven go to play. Somebody was drowning after a capsizing of the boat. Jesus! I refuse to die. Yes. An invisible hand went forth. Picked them. Until the rescue boat arrived and put him inside. Can't see him anymore. Jesus is in command of the angels of heaven. He's the captain of the host of God. He said, he sent this forth because he said, let all the angels of God worship him. When you call the name of the angels, stand at attention. What's the matter? We're here. We're here. We're here. So it's not just a, it's not a conjunction in prayer. No. It's not a link from one prayer point to another. No. It's not a semicolon in prayer. The name is what empowers us to be in command. Of the supernatural. Stop playing with the name of Jesus. It enables us access to both the power and the authority of Christ. Jesus sent them to preach and he gave them Power and authority over all devils. So whatever is resisting your access to what God has provided, you engage the name of Jesus in, in faith to gain command over them. It's your turn. You can't give what you don't have. He gave them because he has it. Power and authority resides in that name. Can I hear your amen? Yeah. And that name rings a bell in heaven, on earth, and underneath the earth. It's your turn. Yeah. Number five. Engage bold declarations of faith. We were in a country, in a nation, and then there was some drizzling in that crusade at the stadium the first night. I said, come tomorrow. If it drops here, it will rain this nation again. You had that kind of story. Following day, the cloud was thick, but nothing would drop. So I celebrated God, a blind eye just got over before the message bold declarations is a requirement for command of the supernatural what you can declare boldly god cannot come confirm openly all this bedside talk i know that I, I cannot be cheated i cannot be open your mouth wide and I'll feel it. And when you do that, I will turn my hand against your adversaries. And mess them up. So I made it 1 verse 10 to 14. They are both there. Speaking boldly in the Lord. Acts 14 and verse 3. Which gave witness to the word of his grace. And God gave them signs and wonders to be wrought by their hands. Bold declarations. No bold face, a bold heart. Boldness coming from the stuff on your inside. My prayer tonight is that we will make do with these covenant demands as a way of life 
it will keep opening new doors to your life. Amen. Somebody believe that. Let me hear your loudest. Amen. amen. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. As we conclude tonight, the testimonies of others are pointers to our heritage. Isaiah chapter 8 and verse 20. The Bible says, To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it's because there is no light in them. So, testimonies are for our enlightenment. See what has happened by my hand. You want it? Go the way he has gone, and I will do it. I'm not a, I'm not a respecter of persons. Look at it. Testimonies are pointers to our heritage. That woman told the hem of his garment, Matthew 9, verse 21 to 23, and was made whole. By chapter 14, everybody was seeking to touch the hem of his garment, and as many as touched were made perfectly whole. Their miracles came true through the testimony of others. We gain command of the supernatural by buying into the testimonies in the lives of others. I was watching our Bishop Benson Zahosa Ulubada Stadium historical crusade. Jesus walked in. Following Sunday, eruption. It is what I want to call Pentecost flames. All in the score field. Eruptions. Eruptions. The righteousness of thy testimony is everlasting. Give me understanding and I shall live. Try to understand testimonies when you hear them. Try to find out what did they do to make this happen. You are interested? Plug in. If it's in the world, plug in. If it is the world, plug in. And it will repeat it in your life. Can I share this humbling testimony with you? Some members of our church were engraced for effective cell replication. And I said, okay, let's now gather those individuals and find out what they did. They are members of this church. We taught them. But they have applied it in a way that produced outstanding results. Yes, yes. Some of them five cells in two months. Some of them 16 cells. Let's find out what they did. And we went as a church to do it. We produced 21,000 cells in one year. Come on, give the Lord praise. That's the efficacy of testimonies. Those who despise testimonies always lack them. Always lack them. It's what to embrace you attract, what you despair, your hand can't reach. Members of the church taught the church how to replicate sales by applying what we taught them appropriately in their various areas. And uh, 21,000 sales in a year by the power of testimony of others. It's your turn. It's your turn. It's your turn. The supernatural has no limits. Come on now. Can I have you say that with me? Somebody was asked to supply something and then not knowing that they have planned to kill him. So when I say, okay, you are going to go to somewhere to supply and they had to take him on motorbike and into these killers. They shot him, no answer. They caught him, no answer. They said, where are you from? He said, I'm a son of Bishop Yedepo. Ah, no wonder. No wonder. They can't touch them. No wonder. It's what is in him at that time. What is what? 
They shot him, no answer. They caught him. We saw it on the, on the platform here. No answer. The supernatural has no limits. Sir, people will point gun at you to go back to them straight. Yes, yes, yes. Straight. Yes. Straight. Yes. Straight. Somebody was scratching my eyes on a sticker, and his eyes went blind. The supernatural has no limit. Has no limit. Somebody died here, if you have it on the screen, and already in the mortuary for 24 hours. Jesus Christ is here, the brother said, and then sat up. Jesus Christ is here. After embalmment, Look at the dead. It's in the mortuary. That's no limit. Jesus brought Lazarus out after four days in the grave. Has no limits. For with God, nothing shall be possible. And if you can believe, all things are possible to him. All things. We saw a man that was reduced to skeleton from Japan. Lost 18 kilos or remained 18 kilos. Look at the man. Look at the man. That skeleton. Look at the man upon the solution. Whatever affliction anyone may have suffered till this moment, the God of restoration is visiting you tonight. We dissolve here tonight. Blind eyes shall be opened here tonight. In the name of Jesus. There is no limit in the realm of the supernatural. Therefore, it's your turn. I say it's your turn. It's your turn. It's your turn. What we have received tonight is how to be in command of the supernatural. How to be in command of the supernatural. How to be in command of the supernatural. How to command the supernatural at will, holding these weapons in your hand. And that will be a new dawn in your Christian life. Lift up your right hand to heaven and thank God for light if you got anything from this service tonight. Thank God for light. Thank God for light. Thank God for light. The days of harassment on your life are over. No more harassment of sickness and disease. No more harassment of satanic oppression. They are over, they are over, they are over, they are over. Give God thanks. Give God thanks wherever you are. Give God thanks. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' precious name, Amen. give the Lord a big hand of praise. Thank you, Lord. Remember where we began from? Our command begins from being born again, not appropriated salvation. Not natural lineage salvation. My father is a Christian. My mother is a Christian. I'm also a Christian. No. Except a man, not a family. Be born again. He shall not see the kingdom of God. You are here tonight to want to say, Jesus, save my soul. Forgive me my sins. Make me a member of your family. Where you are tonight in this service, all the people outside, stand to your feet, please. Jesus, save my soul tonight. Stand to your feet. Thank you, Jesus. Forgive me my sins tonight. Stand to your feet.
God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Amen. All of us tonight, wherever you are, you want Jesus in your heart? You want to be in command of the supernatural? You want to make heaven at the end of your journey? You want to be free from the torments and the tortures of life? Jesus. Hallelujah. You still want to stand there? There's a room for you to do so. Please do that quickly. Also tonight, there are people that need to rededicate their life to Christ. You are once saved, perhaps. At the point, you just wander out. You wander away. You want to return back to your Heavenly Father tonight. Wherever you are, stand to your feet also. I want to dedicate my life to Jesus tonight. Stand to your feet. Now, everybody standing for either of the two calls, please make your way quickly to the front. Make your way down here. Make your way down here. Make your way down here. If you are coming from outside, please make sure you carry your Bible, your bag. Because you don't know where you sat. So you can go back there in peace. In the name of Jesus. Please come. Please come. Thank you, Jesus. Child, give the Lord a big hand, please do. There is joy in heaven when your soul depends. Keep coming. Choir, let's praise him. As they come, let's praise him. Let's praise him. Let's celebrate him. Keep coming, keep coming, wherever you are coming from. Everyone in front begin to talk to Jesus right now. Jesus, I've come for your forgiveness tonight. I've come repenting of my sin tonight. Forgive me, Jesus. Make me a new creature tonight. Give me a new life tonight. Come to my heart, Jesus. I begin to walk your walk in my heart. Do that with faith, everyone in front. It's an opportunity for a change of story. It's your opportunity for a change of story. It's your opportunity for a change of story. It's your opportunity for a change of story. All across the nations of the world at this time, straight to the front of the altar, asking God for forgiveness. In Jesus, Precious name we are praying. Would you please lift up your right hand to heaven and pray this simple prayer of faith, but from your heart after me. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus forgive me all my sins. I repent of them today. I believe you died for me. On the third day you rose again. On the third day you rose again. To set me free. From the power of sin. So I can serve the living God. Tonight. I accept you. As my Lord. And my Savior. And I believe. My sins are now forgiven. I'm born again. New creature. I'm not a child of God. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul. And thank you, Jesus, for restoring me back to the family. To you be all the glory. Amen. Now, lift your hands up.
blessed of the Lord in the name of Jesus. I cover all of us. I pray this prayer tonight with the blood of Jesus. Remain covered against all satanic assaults in the name of Jesus. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Congratulations. 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 Please complete your sleep. Pass them on to those church officials with you. And get back on your seat. liberate the world from all oppressions of the devil through the preaching of the word of faith and I'm sending you to undertake this task I'm one of his privileged agents to stop the devil from harassing the lives of people and tonight every mark of the wicked on anyone's life shall go off forever And he said to me on one occasion, Behold, I have touched your tongue with the coal of fire. Not that somebody was sent to tell me, he told me. And from henceforth, as you say it, you will see it. Listen. He that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive what that prophet carries. Now, tonight, Everyone who cares to believe the God I serve, the one that sent me, whatever came with you as a concern, must return as a testimony. <laughs> believe the Lord your God, so shall ye be established. Believe also his prophets, and so shall ye prosper. Tonight, all the losses around your life, they are turned to profit. Yeah. 
I'm saying this with the authority of Jesus, with the anointing on Christ. Whatever you truly desire, based on the things you have heard from the Lord, with whom nothing shall be impossible, will go back home as a testimony. Under the sound of my voice, as the Lord living, whose I am and whom I saw, you are bringing your miracle baby to Shiloh 2023. <laughs> Everyone carrying a marital spell that has afflicted your generations after you has held down people from being married. Having children here and there without any home. Nobody said, I want to marry you. In the precious name of Jesus, that spell of the wicked is broken off your life tonight. <laughs> As the Lord liveth, whose I am and whom I serve. You are arriving at Shiloh 2023, God just let settle the marriage. <laughs> Every troubled family, I decree peace be still. <laughs> Every wayward son and daughter, I decree restoration back home. Somebody testified today, pregnant for four years. Pregnant for four years. God came down and slew the woman. That said, let me see how you give her. Give her. The woman died and the daughter of Zion delivered. Whatever won't let you go. Whatever won't let you go. Whatever will hold you bad in any area of life. Those things go for you today. They go for you today. What I won't let your children go. Those things go for you today. Of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Blind eyes begin to open now. Deaf ears begin to hear now. Everybody everywhere, put your hand wherever you may be hurting. Maybe your neck, maybe your ears, maybe your hair. Anything called tumor, any part of your body. My God. Every killer disease ravaging any part of anybody's body. You are testifying now. Now, you are testifying now. You are testifying now. Every discomfort, every pain, Every ache. Every stammering tongue. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Over your body is over. <laughs> Listen, every affliction of our body is a contention of the enemy. Satan was contending for the body of Moses. Yes. Jude verse 9. Yes, yes, yes. He's the one contending with our right to health. Hmm. But at his name, 
the name of Jesus, every knee bows. Whatever is contending for your healthy living, against your healthy living, bows in the name of Jesus. Right there where you are. Whatever was not working before you came here, begins to work right now. Your eyes that were not seen before, begin to see right now. Every pain everywhere in your body clears out finally now. Every blood disease, blood sugar, high blood pressure, hypertension, name it, blood cancer, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command them to cease right now. <laughs> Lift up your two hands and give God thanks. Lift up your two hands and give God thanks. Lift up your two hands and give God thanks. Something had broken loose in your life, wherever you are right, right there, something had broken loose in your life, celebrate God for it, magnify God for it. You have a testimony, just start coming up. Start coming up, start coming up. You came with stroke, the stroke is gone. 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 Your paralysis is over. Your paralysis is over. Give God thanks. Whatever you could not do before, begin to do them now. Jesus never lies. But he cannot walk without your faith. He cannot walk without your faith. He cannot deliver without your faith. In Jesus' name. Now that my battle is over, I am more than a conqueror. You have been taught by the power of God. Take your Bible, take your bag, and rush down here. We glorify God with you, and then we close in the service. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Somebody excited and shout hallelujah. You have received the touch of Jesus on your body. Shout the loudest hallelujah. Now that my battle is over, I'm more than a conqueror. Sing that song. Now that my battle is over. Now that my battle is over. Now that my battle is over. I am more than a conqueror. Now that my battle is over. Are you victorious? Now my battle is over. I am more than conqueror. Battle is over. Jesus, we are more than a conqueror. Now that my battle is over, it's over. I am healed, I am saved, I am delivered. We are more than a conqueror. Now that my battle is over, we are healed, we are saved. I am made whole, I am in healed. I'm gonna conquer now that my battle is over. Now that my battle is over. Now that my, my battle is over. Jesus, we give it a praise. Now that my battle is over. We give it a glory, Lord. I am healed, we are saved, we are delivered. I am more than a conqueror. Now that my battle is over, I give you praise. Jesus, I worship your name. I am shouting for joy. Now that my battle is over, my sickness is gone. The pain, the shame is thrown away. I am more than a conqueror. My battle is over. Battle is over. Jesus, we give you the glory. Ah, I am more 
gonna conquer us. Now that my battle is over, every pain is gone, every shame, every sickness is gone. Jesus, I am more than a conqueror. Now that my battle is over, the pain is gone. Oh, the shame, the reproach is gone. The conqueror. Now that my battle is over, now the battle is over, the battle is gone, is over. Jesus has taken the victory. Now that my battle is over, oh, my battle is over. Every struggle is gone. I am more than a conqueror. Somebody celebrate your victory! Celebrate your victory! Celebrate your victory! We are more than a conqueror. Now no, my battle is over. Now my battle is over. Now my battle is over. Battle is over. I am more. I am more than a conqueror. Now keep your faith alive. Jesus couldn't reach them, he marveled at their own belief. Nothing entitles a believer to the supernatural outside of his faith. Keep your faith alive. The miracles are still happening now. Keep your faith alive. The miracles are still happening now. They declared a man dead. The wife said, honey, you cannot die. Honey, you will not die. And suddenly the power of God came and jumped back to life. The two of them were on this altar. Keep your faith alive. Jesus is still working right now in the midst of his people. Whatever you came with that you truly believe Jesus is up to. He said, do you think I'm up to do this? They said, yeah, Lord. He said, now get it according to your faith. You have your miracle. You have your miracle. You will remember this day for many years to come in your life. You will start distributing miracles by yourself. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We sing this song a few moments. Just sing another song a few moments. And then we'll take just three, four testimonies here. And we'll reserve the others for the sessions ahead of us tomorrow. Come on now. Hallelujah. Hey. It's the sound of victory. Somebody say hallelujah. Jesus, hallelujah. Let us sound.
across the nations for the next five minutes and we'll receive some of these testimonies before we close in the service. Next five minutes, please. Show down in all viewing centers around the world. Please get seated here. So many, we just take a few. Hallelujah. has been having heart enlargement with various symptoms, including shortness of breath. But in the midst of the prophetic declaration, all of the symptoms disappeared. Now set free to the glory of God. Hallelujah. Mary at Ademuiwa, for six years, the cone in the right leg, in her right knee, had shifted. But right as the prophetic word went forth, it was immediately realigned by the power of God. <laughs> Mrs. And Anjadike Joy, for 41 years, has been stammering. But right as the prophetic word went for tonight, the stammering disappeared. Now she can speak freely to the glory of God. Ma Maduku Chinedom for 15 years has been suffering from pile. But right as the prophetic word went for tonight, the pile disappeared, now set free to the glory of God. Akin, Akin Romade Emmanuel for two years has been suffering from peptic ulcer. But right as the prophetic word went for tonight, that ulcer disappeared, the pain is gone, now set free to the glory of God. <laughs> Pastor Mba Ifain, for 39 years, has been suffering from excruciating back pains. But right as the prophetic word went out tonight, that pain disappeared, now set free to the glory of God. Hallelujah. Otubu Bolariwa, for the past 10 years, has been having this regurgitation of food, which has been plaguing him for all of this while. But as the prophetic word went forth, all of the symptoms of that disappeared. Now he's set free to the glory of God. Adam's victory for 20 years has had partial deafness. But right as the prophetic word went forth, the ear popped open, can hear clearly to the glory of God. Shall we rise to our feet? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The miracle power of God is still working. Many will go to bed tonight and wake up a brand new individual. You are the one, let me hear your loudest amen. Let me hear one more time your loudest amen. The world was going forth, and someone in Abia with a dead child, this last Shiloh, the child came back alive. Wherever anyone may be at this time, the unction from here has answered in your life. Someone was held down for 21 years without a baby. We saw her yesterday. First one came, set of twins. 
Second one, six at a time. Six at a time. Everybody on the life of the miraculous tonight, God who sent me has done it in your life. And so shall it be. Lift up your two hands, everyone, and give God thanks. Make sure your testimonies are recorded before you leave. Get back to your seat, please. Give God thanks, everyone. Give him glory, everyone. Jesus, precious name, we are praying. Yeah. We've been having an obvious revival here. May you return from this Shiloh revived spirit, soul, and body. In the name of Jesus. He said to me, I've given you the people, now raise them with me. School them into his place. Release them to their destinies. My prayer is that all that you have gathered till date, I want you to still gather tomorrow. We change your level supernaturally. <laughs> He said, I've determined to raise a new generation of saints by your hand. He told me life. 1992, June 29. In the precious name of Jesus, I decree your enlistment in this new generation of saints. Fear shall have no hiding place in your life anymore. For all that may not be in the morning session, please get back to that tape. All the series of this morning were on there. Jesus was there present. I taught on the fellowship covenant. My son, Pastor Paul Inichi, taught on the healing covenant. And my wife taught on the covenant of fruitfulness. Every package from heaven. Meros Kagalato Prectonara. Jesus trained them and released them. And they went and blew the world open. In your area of endeavor, you will make your marks. The world will be blessed by you being on the earth today. I said in the morning prophetically, the greatest employers of labor of all times yes. will emerge from the church. Yeah. And of Zion, it is said, this and that man was born in her. You are among the people. Amen. You are among the people. Amen. By your input, the suffering of this age shall be elevated. Yeah. By the path God will grant you to play, the horror upon humanity in this part of the world, in Nigeria in particular, shall be elevated. Yeah. We operate a do-it-yourself system here. Take responsibility and take it early. <clears throat> take it and take it early. I therefore release you as agents of exploits. Yeah. In your various areas of endeavor. <laughs> and in the name of Jesus Christ, the devil shall not cut short God's plan in your life. <laughs> your confidence in God will keep you in command. <laughs> not confidence in self. Paul said, We are the circumcision, I worship God in spirit. And we have no confidence in the flesh. Philippians 3.3. 3. Confidence in the flesh equals pride. Confidence in God equals trust. Need that trust in the Lord shall be like my that cannot be removed. Confidence in God 
equals trust. Confidence in self equals pride. Before destruction, pride. My God. And before express confidence in God. It keeps you in command. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, the God confidence required for you to fulfill your destiny in grand styles. Receive it right now. <laughs> Carnality robbed Samson of that great unction. I pray that the flesh would not rubbish your inheritance in Christ. Hey. That sin will not destroy God's purpose for your life. Yeah. That the love of money will not bring you down into the pit. Yeah. The greatest days of the Church of Christ are here. Yes. Hallelujah. The greatest days of the Church of Christ, they are here. The greatest days of the Church of Christ, they are here. May you be part of this rising army. You never end your journey in a shrine. You never end your journey in a shrine. I'm satisfied with Jesus. I'm satisfied with him. My faith in him has never failed. I'm satisfied. I've not tried any other source to Jesus in 53 years. Jesus kept me by grace and he kept walking his walk in my life. Beginning from now, the torment of looking here and there to see things done is over in your life. Amen. He said, my son, you have two eyes. Can you make one to look up and one to look down? I tried, it didn't work. Anytime you are looking onto man, never claim to be looking onto me. A man includes yourself. When you're looking at yourself as the source to get things done, you are finished. But when you fix your eyes on me, you say you'll never be ashamed. The days of shame and reproach are over in your life. God can send you people if he chooses to. But his plan does not depend on men for delivery. It depends on your faith for delivery. Therefore, Every word of God towards you, as you focus your eyes on God, you see them tumbling down one after another in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Lift up those two hands, everybody, and give God thanks for this night of wonders. Celebrate him. Magnify him. There's no one like our God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' name, give the Lord the biggest hand of praise. Yes, thank you for the mission. Shall we express our gratitude to the Lord for all of his wonders here tonight? I'm sure many of us saw how God confirmed his word tonight. Give him thanks, give him thanks, give him thanks. He healed all manner of sicknesses and diseases tonight, including stammering, all afflictions, including partial deafness and blindness. 
Let's give him the glory. Let's honor him. Let's thank him. To him alone be the glory forever. And all the saints of God shout with me, thank you, Jesus. Tomorrow is the fourth day at Shiloh 2022. Meanwhile, I don't want to forget this. Tonight, we had 82 people came out to share their testimonies. God touching all of these ones. And as declared by God's servant, by daybreak, many more people will be up testifying. In the name of Jesus. Good news. Tomorrow night, being the wonder night for the third in the series, we'll be having celebration night. Amen. We will be having celebration and a blessing over Shiloh babies, Shiloh marriages, and of course we'll be praying over the nations of the world. Please get ready, fully loaded. God is going to be confirming his word again. 6 a.m., the day commences tomorrow. Get fully set and God will continue to visit you and I. One more time, let's lift up our hands. If you can, wave your hands again. It's never too much thanking him. It's never too much thanking him. All over the world, let's thank him. Let's thank him. Let's thank him. In Jesus' glorious name, we have given thanks. As a family, let us loudly share the goodness of the Lord. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Shiloh 2022 and Covenant Highways. Bless your neighbors as you go. Have a wonderful night, please.